Hi, and welcome to jhudges.com Tech Tips channel, where I upload all kinds of very helpful networking, telecom, and VoIP tutorials to help you in your business or your hobby. If you like what you see here today and you find these tutorials helpful, please subscribe and click that bell because I'm constantly uploading very helpful content for the general public to use. Now in this video today, it's kind of a part two of a video I did earlier on a Cisco SPA 112 provisioning for SIP trunks on a core dollar hosted SIP trunk. Now, um, it was a little confusing the last video, so I'm going to show you how to set the SPA 112 up for a T38 fax line because it's a different provisioning for a T38 fax. So the first thing we want to do is go into our US tech portal and we're going to create a fax line on our portal. going to go to customers we're going to go to US Tech of course now if you're a little confused or having a problem doing uh, what I'm showing you uh, US Tech can do it for you before we get started I want to tell you about a company that specializes in almost everything telecom this company is US Tech for years, U.S. Tech has been an industry leader in telephone systems, SIP protocol gateways, voice over IP, and UC client. U.S. Tech has a reputation of giving over-the-top tech support, and right now U.S. Tech is giving away free Yaling VoIP phones for every seat that you sign up for. They can even pre-program a system and have it shipped right away while they stay on standby for any reasonable assistance necessary. Is your phone bill too high? Let them drastically reduce your monthly bill using SIP protocol. Just click on the link in the description below to get a free quote and even a callback if needed. That's US Tech, your one-stop shop for everything telecom. They do it all for you. Just click the link in the description and uh, start a chat with them and we can hook you up pretty good. So you want to go to services and we're going to scroll down and I'm going to show you the, the SIP trunk that I used in provisioning the Cisco SPA 112 and I used this SIP trunk right here and you can see this is is active but you don't want to use a SIP trunk if you're using it for a T38 fax what you want to do is scroll down on the left hand side and look at T38 fax line and we're gonna click new fax line and we're gonna make this 402 fax caller ID we're just gonna choose one you have to put an E911 address for it to work and what we want to do is look at these username and passwords and SIP registration name because that's what we're going to put in our Cisco SPA 112 after we save this. So let's go ahead and save this. All right, now let's log back into our new fax line that we just created. And what we're going to do is copy this SIP registration host name right here. We're going to go into our quick setup for our Cisco SPA 112. We're going to re log back in and that's admin. And we're on quick setup. Now, this is the server name that I use for the SIP trunk that I created but we're going to use this T38 fax line host name right here so go ahead and paste that in there and let's go back and get our username put that right here over top of there and we need our password so let's get that Oops. put that right here and we're going to put T38 fax. 
and we're going to submit. You know, in today's job market, it's always good to have a backup plan for making money, or sometimes you might just be tired of working for someone else and you think it's time to be your own boss. Well, my friend John Cristani has been helping guys like you and me become wealthy for many years now, and he has a free training course that shows you step-by-step -step how to earn a six-figure side income online. That's right, side income. You can do this and still keep your day job if you want to. Just click on the link in the description below to get your free training now. Now you need to port your number as a T38 fax. So what you're going to do is go into numbers, T38 fax, and click on that. And your ported T38 fax number should show up here. And we have a couple of them. So basically what you're going to do to route it, you're going to click on that pencil box. And right now it's routed to an auto attendant but for demonstration purposes. You're going to scroll down to call routing. And what you would do is select fax line. And 402 fax is the one we just created. And you're going to select that. And you're going to save it. And now your T38 fax line should be going to your Cisco SPA12 from this proxy server host name using this username and this password. And that's all there is to it to setting up a T38. Now for Cordial standards you're going to need to fine tune this T38 uh, fax line inside of your Cisco SPA 112. So I'm going to show you the settings you need to change for a T38 fax. You're going to go to voice, you're going to go to line one, and I've already made these changes from the last tutorial so I'm just going to go over with them with you again because these are important to make sure that your number is ringing in, that you have two-way audio, uh, and that your number is working correctly inside of your Cisco SPA 112. So you want to go to NAT settings and NAT keep alive. You want to make sure that that is set to yes. And under network jitter level, you want to make sure that that is on very high. Jitter buffer adjustment, you want to set that to no. Call waiting service, you want to make sure that that is set to no. Three-way calling service, you want to make sure that that is set to no. You want to go down to fax pass-through method. And you want to set that to re-invite. You want to go to fax disable ECAN. And you want to make sure that that is set to yes. You want to go to fax enable T38, make sure that that is set to yes. And then you want to submit. And there's only one other change that you need to make. Uh, you want to go to voice. You want to go to SIP. You want to go down to RTP parameters. And this RTP packet size you want to set to 0 0.020. By default it's 030, but Cordial wants you to put it at 020. And that is what you need to do for a T38 fax line in the Cordial portal, registering it to the Cisco SPA 112. Hey, you know, a lot of people ask me, how do you record your computer screen like that? I tell them it's so easy with Camtasia from TechSmith. In my opinion, Camtasia is the most affordable and easiest recording software to learn. You don't need a big budget or fancy video editing skills. Simply record your screen, add a few effects, callouts, musical backgrounds, and bam, you're done. Upload it directly to YouTube or your computer or whatever video hosting site you choose. It's that easy. And right now, Camtasia is letting my friends try it out for free for one month. You can't lose with that deal. Just click on the link in the description below and start your free trial today.